I am at uh, Atlantis Reno, and this is the front in the area in front of the uh, Players Rewards counter for Monarch Rewards. Uh, I'm going to play this machine. Uh, I have many demos that I want to show you, and one of them is to not play penny slots anymore because the penny denomination is is the worst everywhere always except one month in central city in colorado last year or the year before in february so <laughs> there's an exception to every rule so i i want to not play penny machines but i'm just trying to give these demo videos to newbies and uh, later on I'll start adding more and more of my strategy. So second bet, 140 cents. Uh, I think that is 60 cent bets, I believe. And so I started with $100 and I'm at 98.40. So yes, uh, again in front of the Monarch uh, awards counter, now now it's in front of the cashier's cage adjacent to the table games uh, some of these machines I, i'm not real happy with uh, they are prominently displayed I'm, I'm doing the five spin method on highly visible machines but sometimes the highly visible machines it's like they're trying too hard i've been to casinos where it was like a 15 foot high uh, uh, you know, cigar, cigar smoking cowboy in red neon on the second floor to be seen from it. You know, I was just like, whoa, trying too hard. So these are really prominent, and I worry about too prominent because then it becomes uh, not. It's 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 obviously a money maker for the casino, not a way for them to show people wins necessarily okay so i i've spent far too long on this machine not realizing there's a little bitty out of service sign why won't my voucher go in what's going on i don't understand camera in one hand ear earplugs in the other voucher in my hand going watching out for people so i don't take a look at them blur their faces if i see their front of their faces too much and Okay, moving on to the one next to it, and again, this is a quarter machine, but I looked at it kind of closely, and I saw that it was only a couple of credits, which makes it under a dollar for the bet. And so, okay, I will risk it. 3x, bar, double bar, single bar. Uh, did you know that historically the, the bar symbol, it's traditional, like some of the fruit symbols, uh, cherries, for instance, uh, and the bar is actually the, it's like Wrigley Spearmint, the, the case, it's kind of a bar shape. The original fruit uh, slot machine companies uh, had that as their logo, and that's why we see them on these machines. It's traditional, although originally it was just a single bar. Okay, so see where I'm at? Uh, there's the, the cashier's counter. I'm, I'm trying to show you, but not move the camera around too much to make it dizzy. Uh, headed towards the table games. There, there are the table games uh, on the other side. There's machines on the back side of this one. And that would be facing the table games. So I, I, whenever I go into a casino and I film these demos, I try to like come in from one of the entrances and try to follow the main path. But sometimes it branches. So if you go to when you go to your casino, try to find like the main aisle. This is Atlantis, and it's it's really kind of chaotic, partly because it's so old uh, that there's just been remodel on top of remodel on top of remodel with with the cashier's cage and the, and the um, uh, rewards counters kind of centrally located and escalators there and st it's a it's a what 19 20 story high skyscraper and there's uh, not a lot of flexibility in how they lay out the casino it's hard to expand something that's a 30 uh, 
uh, story high sk skyscraper. Actually, it's like three towers that have been built over time, each a different height. Uh, anyway, the, the history of the casino can tell you a lot about why the, they have the choices they have. Okay, so let's play this one cent slot machine. I have a little under $98 left of my $100. Mostly, mostly in this demo, penny machines. This one I'm making 50 cent bets. I have articles on the history uh, and videos on the history. Uh, turns out not to be of great interest. I don't know why, except for history buffs. I guess I'm kind of a history buff. Uh, so I. I Listen to the voice of the customer and stop doing those history history uh, topics. But seriously, <laughs> I can't help it. The American Prohibition, uh, 1932, was just awesome for slot machines. Uh, before that, there were getting to be more and more regulations against it, prohibited, social mores, uh, same with alcohol, so alcohol was prohibited, uh, and so speakeasies came, speakeasies came out, and then when speakeasies came out, the slot machine manufacturers, well, what's going on here? The slot machine manufacturers all said, uh, let's, let's put slot machines in the speakeasies and we will make it, you know, don't have to give out gum anymore. And uh, got a small win there, five dollars. Again, uh, and 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 then it just—it's called the golden age of, of slot machines, uh, the American Prohibition. Yeah, big times. Uh, so now I'm down twenty cents from my original hundred dollars <laughs> with that win. I'm playing the machine next to it again. This is all port, port, pointing towards a high traffic area. That kind of goes past. Let's see if I can get a win on this one. Although usually it's not both; it's uh, one, one of two, one of three, one of four of the machines, and it's just a matter of finding out which one. Uh, so okay, the other one was five dollars. This is a two-dollar win, but the bets here were a dollar sixty, which I had not noticed. So now I'm down almost five dollars. Uh, $4, a little over $4 from my uh, bankroll from the prior machine. So I, I miss seeing that $1.60 bets. I do try to keep it under a dollar. So you see how this is a walkway, okay? Uh, that is a uh, out, of con out of order machine. There's the escalator. Uh, there's out towards the entrance. You see the entrance? So I'm going to play this machine. You see how it's like prominently displayed for people headed towards the commissary, the small shop, uh, and out to the outdoors. And the hotel registration is forward and to the and to the left. So I'm going to take my ninety-five dollars and forty cents, and I'm going to play this machine. And my five-spin strategy: first bet, first eighty-eight cent bet, and boom. I got the mighty cash feature. And I get spin one of six, two of six. One of those is fifteen dollars. Another is seven fifty. So I'm I'm coming out ahead. Since I was just over ninety four dollars to start with. Come on, give me another fifteen. If. <laughs> Since I'm wishing here, how about a 30? <laughs> nope. <laughs> so it's going to add it up for us. Okay. Uh, okay, it's going to it's going to count it up. See, you know, I would stop this normally, but this is the sort of display that, that the casino wants everybody to see. That's why they put this slot machine there during, through this walkway. It's to their benefit. Sure, I made $38 on this machine, uh, minus an 88 cent bet, 
uh, so um, the people walking by can see this uh, and they'll more than make it back by the excitement and people running to slot machines to play even you know, assuming that they'll even make a reasonable assumption and it's a reasonable assumption that I would just play this what have I brought with me go to the ATM get some more but as I explained in my five spin strategy this is this is uh, you know walk away walk away recently I surveyed my uh, groups, uh, one of the groups that I have, uh, Slots Labs actually, and asked them, do you think leaving with winnings is 1x one, one harder than, than uh, uh, learning to win, or do you think it's 5x, or what do you think it is? And they came up with 5x, not 10x, but five times harder to keep your winnings, uh, leave with your winnings. Uh, so $132.52. Uh, uh, when I started with 100 bucks, if you want to learn what I'm doing here, I'm using a combination of my five spin strategy. This is the video for that. And uh, also highly visible locations. Um, uh, I call it location, location, location strategy. And that's here. Um, and that's my cat Hetty. <laughs>